one Capristo only for competition decat. I think this is gonna be loud. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to June in the United Kingdom. Rain. For the last four days, that is what we have had continually. But yesterday, I was up here in my Murcielago filming an update video for you guys, and I saw an exhaust on the side, and Barry told me that it was from a McLaren 720S Spider that was coming in today. So rather than go into London to try and persuade Archie to take his GT3 RS out in the rain so that I could film an exhaust expert, hence the hoodie, I'm down at SB Race Engineering where I'm taking my work from the outside to the inside and I'm going to be filming a 720S Spider getting straight piped. Look at the progress. Usually on a car that I've seen have an exhaust change, you need to remove the rear bumper and then the exhaust gets prized off. Like on this Diablo, for example, you just take the rear bumper off and then you'd have full access to the exhaust pretty much. Maybe a few more nuts and bolts and a heat shield to remove. But this is a McLaren 720S Spider. They do not make it easy to, ac ac to access this little bit here. Look how much deconstruction of the car takes place just to remove the exhaust system and to change it. And Barry is working on it solidly. And I tell you what, the one thing that I have noticed is just how much wiring is going through the car. We've got wires everywhere. Looking at a supercar, 2019 supercar in this light, in comparison to the last exhaust fitment that I filmed, which was my own Mercia Largo, a 10 year old Lamborghini, a lot has changed. And <laughs> I cannot believe the labor, just how labor intensive this job is, just to remove this section here. I don't actually think I have seen a, a modern supercar in this form for the exhaust changeover. So that's stock. And that's what's going on, right? Yeah, Capristo decal. Capristo decal is that? So it's going to be that. Yeah. And what's that on it? Like a bandage. It's a heat blanket, Paul. Why doesn't that have one? It has got it. Oh, that metal bit's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Inside there is like a heat resistant uh, blanket. Uh -huh. Here we go. First one going in. Fed through the wheel arch of the rear wheel. complicated to do McLaren. Yeah. It seems complicated. Barry is working tirelessly on the 720S Spider. It's almost unidentifiable. If I was to walk into this workshop, I wouldn't know what car that is. There are so many body panels off the car just to get access to the exhaust. And at the moment, Barry's installing the second decap pipe. But whilst he's doing that, I have lined up the rear section OEM from the McLaren 720S and what is going to be going on, the aftermarket Capristo. And we can compare the two designs, we can compare just how shiny this is, but also the amount of pipage that's going in. Everything's a lot more exposed on this system. And actually, the technique that Capristo used to make a louder system is they've got valves here and you can also have the remote that will remote control these valves. When they are open or in loud mode, air will flow into a resonator to increase the tone and volume from the car. Whereas this, it's a lot more simple, it's a lot more straight through. So when the valves are open, the air will just bypass and exit here rather than going through the muffler system here. But one of the boxes here is for quiet mode and the other one is a resonator to actually increase the tone of the car. But with the decats, it is going to be much louder. I cannot wait to hear the difference, what that is gonna do in comparison to the standard system because the 720S does sound good. It's got a nice sound, but it's not loud enough. So this owner here, has definitely got the right idea. He's decatting it and putting a full Capristo race system on the car, which battery. Have you just done the other one now? That one's in. Oh, yes. They are both in now. 
One, two. Now it's just the rear section. No. There's a lot of work going on, but we're getting there. We're making progress. Can't wait to know what this sounds like. I'm ready. expecting it to be quite that loud but then the valves close really quickly so it kind of settles down and now Barry's just gonna let all of the temperatures warm up and stuff but I can definitely feel oh wow yeah there's a big difference between on and off Out on the road, under load, is loud. It's loud for a McLaren and hilariously, I've just posted the 600 LT Spider video where technically that is probably the loudest stock McLaren that you can buy. Or you can just do an aftermarket exhaust system, completely decap it and come up with something like that. I really want to get some revs with the valves fully open. There we go then, a day down at SB Race Engineering whilst Barry installs the 720S full Capristo exhaust system. I think it sounds amazing. We're not going to hear it on the road today because there is still so much to do on that car and Barry's gonna be working through tomorrow morning to get it done and get it roadworthy. But you can just see how much work goes into a McLaren exhaust installation as opposed to a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Much more difficult to get into and to change as we're gonna get the uh, 488 Challenge car starting up there. But very cool to see, the weather sucks, it's a little bit windy now, the rain is blown away so there's not going to be too much traffic hopefully on the way home, but I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, as the Ferrari starts up, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you for the next video. That's just cool isn't it?